the water cycle. Have you ever taken a sip of water and wonder where it came from? The very same water that you drink daily could have been consumed by a dinosaur millions of years ago. The same water molecules have been cycled throughout the earth since the beginning of time. Water changes from solids to liquids and gases and then back again. The continual movement of water in our environment is called the water cycle. Let's take a look at the path that a water molecule could take. About 97% of Earth's water can be found in the oceans. Every day, heat energy from the sun evaporates water from the ocean. Evaporation is when water changes from a liquid into a gas. The liquid becomes water vapor. Water vapor is hard to see, but it's in the air all around us. Water vapor that is high in the atmosphere begins to cool. The vapor goes through condensation and starts to come together. Condensation is the process when water turns from a vapor into a liquid. The water continues to condense and forms clouds. When clouds have too much water to hold, the water falls back to earth. Precipitation is any form of water falling to earth. Precipitation can be rain, snow, sleet, or hail. Precipitation fills the lakes, rivers, and streams. Some of the precipitation flows across the surface of the earth and is called runoff. Runoff can help fill bodies of water. Some water makes its way into the ground. Water that is in the soil is used by plants or stays in the soil. Water that stays in the earth is called groundwater. So the next time you drink a glass of water, think about all the other organisms that may have shared a water molecule with you. Then remember, the water cycle explains how water moves around our earth. From precipitation, followed by runoff, the movement of the same water molecules around our environment is a continual process. The water cycle is an amazing process that helps bring water to all forms of life. <laughs>